We recently tested out ordering some camping items from AliExpress, which come directly from China. How long did it take? Were they any good? And what went wrong? If you've never heard of AliExpress, it's a platform that will connect you to businesses that are overseas. We've placed two orders through AliExpress. Our first order was through the Skywalker Outdoor Store. We got the Lixada, not sure if I said that right, uh, 650 milliliter titanium pot. It ended up being $17.66 and that was with free shipping. The same pot was on Amazon for $27.98, so we saved $10, but you can't be any rush to get it. When we created an account on their site, we actually were given some new user coupons, so that saved us a few bucks. Our second order was from shop 5397006 store. Um, a little interesting name. Not as cool as Skywalker outdoor gear, but we ended up getting 10 aluminum tent stakes. They're seven inches long and a multi-purpose LED light. Both of these items ended up being $2.50 each and that was after some coupons. So, and that included free shipping. So super cheap. We'll go over the products in more detail, but first let's go over the process and how the order went down. They have a website, but they also have an app. When you're scrolling through a listing, it has a picture and a price, but that can sometimes have multiple items in it. So for example, this picture shows a three-piece set for $8.83, but when you actually click on it, it's actually for a cup. And you wanna go, you click on the one with the pots, it's actually $47. So it's a little bit confusing, so you just need to be aware. When we placed our first order on the website, our bank immediately rejected it. We actually had to approve it before it would go through. So not a very smooth process. We recently had some fraud charges on our credit card. We can't say where it happened, but we can say use the app where you can use Apple Pay. Apple Pay actually creates a unique transaction. So on the tail end, the merchant does not see your credit card. For our second order, we ended up using the app with Apple Pay and it went really smooth, super easy. Our first order took a couple days to process. When it was shipped, they supplied a tracking number which tracked it all the way from China to our house. It took about two weeks, so just enough time to forget about it and have a nice little surprise show up in your mailbox. Our second order took about a week and a half, so just a little bit quicker. Um, both packages actually were packaged in poly bags, no extra shipping material with it, but luckily no damage either. So are they any good? Our first order was the titanium pot, 650 milliliters, like two and a half cups. It's got a little lid with a small, tiny little handle, three little vent holes that has adjustable handles, easy to grip. So you could use this as a cup if you wanted. Um, and then it also has this cushion, slightly cushioned uh, sack to carry it all in. The size of it's small enough, but not too small to fit a little fuel canister right inside. The cup and lid combined is 4.1 ounces. It's a nice little pot. In our second order, we got the tent stakes and the light. There were 10 of these. They are aluminum and about seven inches. They weigh about half an ounce, so pretty lightweight. Each of them have a pull string. The light is a multifunction. It's got this carabiner feature that doesn't really seem to work, a magnet on the back, and then it's got three different settings for the light. It's got the solid, a little lighter, and then the strobe light. And it is rechargeable. Would we use AliExpress again? I think we're gonna keep our big ticket purchases to REI, but you might wanna check it out if you're not in any hurry or if it's just something you can't find elsewhere. This is our experience with AliExpress. You can check out this video next and you can find out more about us at ExploreTrekAdventure.com and we'll see you next time.